question for you, loyal viewer. What's the state of your state knowledge? You know, your MAIQ. Are you a graduate of the Massachusetts Institute of Townology? We ask because we have found our way into Central Mass, as in dead central. The Central Tree, long recognized as the geographical center of the Commonwealth. That means there's as much Massachusetts this way as there is that way, and all the way around. Which leads to a head-spinning question. What town are we in? Well, tonight, that's for you to tell us. So for those of you playing along at home, go ahead and pull down the Rand McNallys, but put away the Google machines. After all, why spoil the fun? It is time to take Chronicle's Town Trivia Test. This is Chronicle on WCVB Channel 5. How about we start at the top? Think you know the state's wealthiest town? Well, it depends on who's counting. But Weston takes the title with an average adjusted gross income of more than $750,000, according to Bloomberg. But when it comes to generating cash, don't discount this little one light town out in Western Mass. This is where the most money is made. <laughs> That's right, making money is coin of the realm here. If you have a bill in your pocket, that paper was made here, and the anti-counterfeiting technology that's in the paper was made here. This is the home of Crane Currency, exclusive makers of currency paper for the United States since 1879. A mix of cotton and flax fiber interlaced with layers of anti-counterfeiting technology. It's engineering and science. <laughs> Stay in STEM, kids. Jenna Ware, director of the Crane Museum, takes us on a deep dive into the crime-resistant features of the typical dollar bill. There are the random red and blue threads. And there's a specific amount per square inch. Microprinting hidden in the images. So it's really hard to see with the naked eye. Watermarks. Security strips that illuminate under black light. And then the most advanced technology we have is the motion thread. A far cry from the simpler dollar bills of just a few years ago. Dennis Crockwell, a third generation crane employee, now retired, tells us as late as the 90s, the largest source of material for US currency was waste from the garment industry. Levi's and uh, underwear cuttings. So to sum up, where exactly is this little town sometimes referred to as Craneville? Take a moment to discuss among yourselves and feel free to weigh in on social media. For now, let's travel to the largest city in the Commonwealth. And here's a hint. Not that one. To help us navigate the big city, we figure it's best to have a guide, an ambassador of sorts. If you will. <laughs> If you will, consider me an ambassador. <laughs> Serge Desir, a broker with Keller Williams Elite, is big on his city. It is the biggest city, you're right. Uh, geographically, land-wise, uh, it's, it's, it's a huge town. But he's surprised to learn that this geographically large city is also the state's hottest, averaging 61 degrees Fahrenheit. I did not know it was the hottest town in Massachusetts. Now, are we talking about Temperature hot, or are we talking about business hot? By that measure, Desir says this old manufacturing city is on fire with new businesses. Just opened up earlier this year, and it's been jumping every day. First stop, Society Coffee. Hot, hot coffee shop, it's always busy. It's like a revolving door. They might as well install one, that's how busy it's been. Also increasing the heat index in this hottest of cities, Los Jefes Comida. If you're gonna get the hot sauce, make sure you, uh, you have a drink ready. <laughs> Desir's go-to, the mango habanero wings. That's a hot, good wing, a good hot wing. I don't even know how to speak anymore, it's so good. Nikki Irving and her husband Eduardo put out a festive mix of Mexican, Caribbean, and soul food specialties that has found a welcome home here in this hottest Woo! and largest city in Massachusetts. Look out, New York. 
<laughs> There's nothing on this town. <laughs> and answers coming up at the end of the show. All right, and back to uh, that little town making all that money. Mm -hmm. Well, crane currency actually makes all the paper and the anti-counterfeiting, well, most of the paper for the dollar bill. Right, that paper then gets trucked down to the Treasury in Washington, D.C., and they do the printing down there, obviously. Um, one other thing, the reason that Levi's are no longer used as the cotton for currency, mm -hmm. blame it on skinny jeans. Because of Lycra and spandex in the skinny jeans, it's no longer suitable for currency, although it would give new meaning to stretching a dollar. Uh, but, um, but I love my skinny jeans, okay? <laughs> <laughs>